the Saturday evening game, which is an AFC East battle. And at 7.15 p.m. CBS, the New England Patriots travel to the Buffalo Bills, and Josh Allen and the boys favored by four points. Total sits at 43 here. Uh, if you if you look at raw numbers again, which uh, obviously that's not the only thing that plays into it, but you look at these DVOA numbers, New England's number four, Buffalo number two. Uh, Buffalo's offense is number 10 against New England, the number four defense. New England's offense is number nine going up against Buffalo's number one defense. Uh, special teams is a wash. I I just think four is is too much. Like, this feels like a field goal game, and and I'm going to ride with the Pats here. It, it, I understand they got the uh, the more inexperienced quarterback. I get that. But I don't know what I'm getting week in and week out from Josh Allen. And when I don't know what I'm getting from one quarterback, now don't get me wrong, Mac has had his, he, he has shown his flaws, especially in that game against the Dolphins. You also got Christian Barward that looks like he's going to be out for this game, et cetera. There's, there's things that you could maybe pick at with the Pats, but I tend to trust Bill Belichick more than than Sean, I just went blank, what's his name? Sean McDermott. McDermott, thank you. That's I, I'm going to ride Pats plus four. I just think it's too many points. So I think these two teams are a lot alike. The, the Bills, when they are on, are far. their ceiling is substantially higher than the Patriots here. When they are playing great, they are the far superior team than the Patriots. Yeah, they can blow anybody. But, but both of these teams have potential to play like complete dog shit. Okay? Oh, yeah. And they both have potential to play really, really good. With that being said, I'm with you in the sense of there's a, there's a world where we get the Josh Allen that lost to, to the Jaguars, you know? that just fell asleep at the wheel a couple of times this year, and they just got beat. Remember, these two teams have played each other twice. They are one and one against each other. Road team won and dominated both games. And so, you know, I, I, I'm not saying that that's a stat or a correlation. The weather will obviously play zero factor into this because both of these teams play in the same kind of climate and atmosphere. Uh, I, I'll take Bill and his experience in the playoffs, and I'll take just the coin flip that there's a chance that I'm going to get a shitty Josh Allen. And if I get a shitty Josh Allen, even if the shitty Patriots show up, this is going to be a field goal game. Yes, most certainly. That's exactly how I feel about this. I also believe this game has potential to be one of the most boring games of the weekend. <laughs> this this could be Alabama-Georgia first half kind of game, right? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, me either. All. Me either. That's good for the Patriots. That's bad for the Bills. Uh, exactly. Exactly. It all plays into uh, Bill Belichick's uh, hands on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.